The full-scale war that Russia brought to Ukraine has actively spilled over back into Russian territory. Footage has appeared on social media showing a fragment of an urban battle in the village of Malaya, Loknia, in the Kursk region. The published footage shows Ukrainian troops firing at Russian soldiers with large caliber guns. The Russians have taken refuge in a two-story house, which is being fired at with tracer subcaliber rounds from an American Marder infantry fighting vehicle. Footage of the battle was published by the Telegram channel VCHK OGPU, which is close to the Russian security forces. In the video, you can see burning houses and traces of powerful explosions. This is roughly what Ukrainian cities in the east of the country look like after the Russian occupation army launched its offensive. Now, Russians will be able to directly experience the taste of war, which has returned to their country. President Vladimir Putin, meanwhile, promised a worthy response, though the continuing surrenders and loss of territory demonstrate that the Kremlin has yet to formulate an effective counter-attack. About 200,000 Russian civilians have had to be evacuated from their homes so far, and at some point, more of Moscow's forces may have to be pulled from the 500,000 or so Russian troops currently inside Ukraine to try to deliver a knockout blow. Eventually, that could be to Ukraine's advantage, said Lieutenant Colonel Bodan Krotevich, the chief of staff of Ukraine's Azov Brigade, who is based on the Eastern Front. The Kursk operation, it's very good and a brave idea, he said. But other problems on the battlefield didn't disappear. It depends on time that we can hold the front line in Kursk. If it will be a long time, I think Russians will start to throw their reserve units from Pokrovsk to Kursk. British military expert Lawrence Friedman, honorary professor of war studies at King's College London, told Liga that Ukraine's ongoing Kursk incursion poses significant problems for Russia, effectively shifting the main battles to Russian territory. Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast started on the 6th of August, and the Ukrainian forces have been broadening their bridgehead for over a week, with Ukraine's commander-in-chief Alexander Syrsky earlier claiming over 1,000 square kilometers of territory inside Russia had been seized. According to Friedman, Ukrainian generals fully understand the risks involved in the Kursk offensive as well as its enormous potential. This creates big problems for the Russians, who turned out to be unprepared to defend their own land, he said. Russian troops defending territory in the Kursk region, sandwiched between the Seam River and the border with Ukraine, risk being encircled after Ukraine destroyed bridges that are their only route for resupply or retreat, the New York Times reports. The bombing of the bridges is aimed at the area between the Seam River, the border and the territory inside Russia already controlled by Ukraine with the aim of trapping Russian troops stationed there. According to statements by the Ukrainian Air Force and reports by Russian officials and military commentators on social media, there are three bridges across this section of the river, all of which are now destroyed or damaged, the newspaper writes. As the New York Times notes, it is unknown how many Russian soldiers remain in the area between the Seam River and the border with Ukraine. This territory includes the town of Glushkovo, which had a population of about 5,000 before the invasion and is seen as a likely next target for the Ukrainian armed forces after the capture of Sudza. As Nikolai Beleskov, a military analyst with the Come Back Alive Foundation notes, attacks on bridges make it difficult or even impossible for the enemy to support its forces south of the Seam River and this could force Russian troops to retreat from the area. At the same time, according to him, if the Ukrainian armed forces advance to the river bank, they will gain the advantage of a natural barrier against any Russian counter-attack. According to military historian Vasily Pavlov, the Ukrainian strategy of using rivers as a defense becomes clear as the offensive progresses. Ukrainian forces advanced along two rivers, the Seam and the Psel, in each case using the waterway as a natural barrier to prevent counter-attacks. As the New York Times notes, although Ukraine's ultimate military goals are unknown, if the Ukrainian armed forces advance deep into Russian territory, they could bring key rail junctions within artillery range. Ukrainian and Russian military commentators also point to Ukrainian bombing of the Russian town of Tetkino, located on the southern edge of the area where Russian troops could be trapped. 
This would put even more pressure on Russian forces in the area, 